guys, it's here with svtperformance.com. We're in the Ford booth at PRL 2023. We've got a familiar face here, Mr. Mike Goodwin. He's going to take us around, show us a few things. and we got a few updates. The big thing is availability, right? Yes, we have some exciting availability updates in the pushrod small block space, the big block space, the Megazilla space. So we're finally getting some throughput. We're getting some parts on the shelf and we're finally excited to get back into that business full force. So I guess the best place to start is kind of where we left off last year was with the Megazilla. You guys introduced it at PRI last year and now would you turn the switch on what like last night? I turned the yesterday? switch on at eight o'clock this morning. Oh. You can order a Megazilla. The MSRP is 22.9. We are building the first batch as we speak, literally, and we will start to ship these in January. The manifold itself is available right now, separately, if you wanted to update your 7.3 and your hot rod. Comes with a 92 millimeter GT500 throttle body fitment, right? That's available separately. Gives you the additional hood clearance for, for car builds. And a couple more horsepower too. Isn't it? It's worth about 10 to 15 horse over the base truck, truck intake pilot. and 80 millimeter throttle body. No, is the Megazilla going to ship with this? Intake? Yes, the Megazilla comes as you see pictured here, right? Comes with, with the water pump, the damper, the pulley, this pulley, the idler intake and the 92 millimeter throttle body, you then just need to add your FIAD kit and your own pipes. Yeah. But it comes with the, the coils, plugs, as it's pictured. And how would you feel about boost on this combination? This combination, it's not built specifically for boost, but it would probably take six to eight pounds without issue. Nice. It still is the stock compression, we targeted that so it can still be run on pump gas. Yeah. And then you said the GT500 engine, that's available now? GT500 engines are on the shelf. Our control pack is available now too to pair this with any manual transmission. Okay. Same deal with the Illuminator XS? Illuminator XS is available on the shelf right now as well, along with the Gen 2 Coyote control packs required to run that engine well and the one that i'm really happy to see back is you guys are getting really big back into the push rod stuff finally right i mean coming out of the pandemic we lost our machining supplier we had to resource all that business we have made significant investments in the machining tooling and in new foundry casting tooling for the 302 for the 351 family and also for the 460 family. We have a limited number of circle track engines on the shelf right now, the sealed circle track series. You need to be a, a racer to be able to order those because we want to target those for the racers for late model stock car competition. Yeah. The street versions, the X2 302E, the 363, those are, we're building inventory on those now and we'll be subject to an announcement here in the coming weeks to when we're gonna release SKUs for sale. We're still catching up and building all the back orders from all the, from coming out of the pandemic, so. Well, one of the things that you said that made me very happy was your demand for the 460, you know, the the big bore small block tall deck 460 was exceeded expectations. It's crazy out there right now with the and that's actually the 460 big block oh, that I'm referring to. Okay. Right. That they're, they're going to the big inch race builds. I can't keep those in stock right now. But we are getting regular inventory in and it ships right back out. Now the 460 small block, right, which is based on the 351 Windsor with a 9.5 deck height, those are, we're building those complete engine back orders and then when we catch up there, we'll be releasing the short blocks and then the bare blocks as well. 
Oh, yeah. Speaking of bare engine blocks, we yes. got one over here now that's finally available. Yes, the Iron Coyote has been a long time coming. We finally have these in the warehouse, ready to ship right now. MSRP is about $5,300. It uses the standard Coyote 100 millimeter bore center line uses Gen 1, 2, or 3 heads with the appropriate head gaskets. You can use the 5-2 heads on it as well. It comes from us with a 92.2 millimeter bore. You can go up to 95 millimeters on the finished bore. And you can fit a stroker crank in there to make 5.6 liters. We don't know how much power it will hold. Nobody's broken one yet. <laughs> Targeted at the, the racers, building big boost, who need something that will be an improvement on a sleeved production block. Yeah. And this is not just, you guys didn't just start pouring iron into the aluminum block. No. Mold. This is from the ground up. This is a complete new design, new tooling, knew everything on this Iron Coyote block. Yeah. And the thing that surprised me is the weight on it. Now you can tell you guys made this thing extra beefy. It is. It, and it, when you finish to a 94 millimeter bore, it weighs at 203 pounds. That includes the, the main caps. Yes, it's heavier than a sleeved aluminum block. But the performance, the performance potential is so much higher oh, yeah. with this block. And this is not just what you would call regular gray iron either. No, this is a proprietary blend of iron exclusive to us that we developed with the foundry yeah. for this application. Yeah. So it's not just your run of the mill. No. Old school small block iron. This is some new. Yes, it's a new proprietary stuff. blend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, I spotted this earlier, all the different balsas in the valley. It looks like it's for the knock sensors for the various generations. Yes, yes. The knock sensors, bosses are there. And then all your other production based accessories will bolt right up to this in terms of your front dress, in terms of your bell housing, in terms of your. Uh, motor mounts, yeah. all that production-based hardware and accessories bolt right up to this engine. And it comes with the good hardware on the mains. All comes that. with the the good hardware, right? And uh, you, know, you can see the beautiful cross hatch on the main cap machining. And this block is actually cur currently being machined in-house at the Ford Advanced Manufacturing and Prototyping Center. Oh, that's good. So, I think they know what they're doing yeah. over there. <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice so. looking piece. And I think, uh, God, I think we actually got the first video on this like two years ago at PRI. We showed it a few yeah. years ago, just before the pandemic hit, mm -hmm. and the world ended. Yeah. We lost suppliers. We had some real challenges to finish this up but it's been a long time coming. And, they, and you can order it now. Available right now. You get your order in and it will ship within a day. That's nice. Well, I appreciate Mike showing us around, giving us an update on all the stuff you can order right now. Perfect. Good parts. And I've got my eye on one of those 460 small blocks. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, see you next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, check the links in the description below. We've got some stuff over on SVT Performance I think you'll like. And I just realized that Mike and I did not talk about the Whipple Supercharger they have in the booth. This is for the 24 Mustang. So, of course, Whipple is using a single throttle body instead of a dual throttle body setup, but you can order this setup through Ford or Whipple. If you like the Ford Performance logo on that, got to go through Ford, but check out the intercooler bricks in this thing. No wonder these things are so efficient. I mean, I know a lot of people like the old, like, Terminator look to have the blower sitting on top and blowing down through the intercooler, but you compare a Terminator intercooler to these, lightning intercooler or anything like that, it's night and day difference. I mean, this just goes up, around, and straight down. Really nice setup.